This is Monty Van Wart, your instructor. Today we have yet another guest lecture. Today we have Stacy Barnier, and Stacy is the manager of employee and labor relations. Let's first meet Stacy and have us uh, have her tell us a little bit about herself. Hi everybody. I'm Stacy Barnier and I'm the employee and labor relations manager on campus. I have been here with the campus for a little over a year now and I came here from the city of Corona and prior to that the city of Newport Beach along with the community college district in the area. So I have several years of experience in the public sector and also some private sector experience prior to that. Excellent. Thank you very much Daisy for that introduction. Our first question is can you explain the standard appraisal system for staff at the university? Can you briefly describe the primary form that is used for frontline staff? And let me point out uh, to students in the class, you should have a uh, link there to the form that she will be talking about. So if you haven't pulled that up or printed it out in advance, you might stop the video for a moment and bring it up so that you can follow along with Stacy as she talks about and discusses the form. So Stacy, tell us a little bit about the appraisal form here at the university. Sure. We do have a couple of different evaluation forms that are used for different staff on campus. And evaluation forms are driven primarily by the collective bargaining agreements that we have on campus. Some are pre-negotiated and actually incorporated as a part of their collective bargaining agreement. What I've chosen to use today is the probationary evaluation form for the majority of our staff on campus. Um, they have a three, six, and 11 month form. I have chosen the 11 month form, but it is very similar in nature to the other forms. So as you and, look- And Stacy, if I can sure. just add, didn't you say this is also similar to later forms? So even though this is the probationary form, the format is relatively similar for the annual evaluation. Yes. So this form is very similar to the annual evaluation, but the annual evaluation, which is done after an employee completes probation, that evaluation is done electronically using a homegrown kind of evaluation system that the campus has developed and continues to maintain. So um, what you can see in front of you is the probationary, like I said, evaluation form. Section one goes over um, a variety of tasks that are traditionally gonna be more trait-based and uh, behavioral-based questions. You can then look um, at one through 16. There's a variety of things there that will be checked. And each section is gonna be rated either unsatisfactory, needs improvement, satisfactory, very good or excellent, there are some that may not apply based on the job that somebody might have. So a supervisor or manager can also check that box in the event that that doesn't apply to that job. If you look at section, um, the small chunk of section below for employees responsible for supervisory duties, those are gonna be primarily results based um, things that are gonna be evaluated uh, one through 10, same thing. They'll use the same rating scale and mark off those that do not apply. Um, sections two and three is where a supervisor or manager can also include um, information, more commentary and um, regarding positive and negatives, regarding the results of the behavior that the employee has exhibited throughout their probationary or permanent uh, time with the campus. So, um, at the end of it, uh, the employee then is provided with the evaluation document with either a recommendation that they become permanent or a recommendation that they are not going to be made permanent, meaning they do not pass probation. Excellent. So let me do just a quick follow-up here, uh, Stacey. Would you talk for a little bit about the implementation of the process, that last aspect in terms of uh, how it goes um, to the supervisor or, or starts from the supervisor to the employee and if there's any back and forth there and at what point does the uh, supervisor of 
the person who's um, providing this evaluation form, at what point does it go to them? And then um, is there any possibility for, for grievance and how would a supervisor prevent that? I don't think that's probably too much. Okay, so you'll see there are a number of different signature blocks at the very bottom of this form. Along with that, the employee is initially provided with a draft copy of their evaluation. So with that, the employee then has time to review it depending on their collective bargaining agreement, um, but typically about five days to review with the option to extend an additional five days is about standard for the majority of the agreement. So um, once the employee reviews it and they are given an opportunity to provide their manager or supervisor with some feedback, they will then um, give the manager an opportunity to either incorporate some of that feedback or um, they may choose not to incorporate any of the feedback and then um, a final copy of the evaluation is established and provided to the employee. You'll see a line at the very bottom which says I certify this evaluation has been discussed with me. My signature does not necessarily indicate that I agree with the evaluation. So the employee is essentially signing that they've received it and that the evaluation has been um, gone over with them. The employee at that time also has the opportunity to attach a rebuttal to the evaluation, say they still don't agree with the items that are in the document. They can then say, you know, here's X, Y, and Z as to why I don't agree with the evaluation. And then it goes along the uh, approval path, which is a number of people, as you can see on the form. So once it goes to the evaluator supervisor, they can, uh, the employee can then start the grievance process if they are you know unhappy with it and they really do want to move forward they can grieve the evaluation now the hope is if the manager is doing their job right that all of the items in the evaluation should not be a surprise to the employee if you are going over everything um, as items occur the employee should not be shocked as a manager, it's your job to make sure that you're correctly documenting, coaching, counseling an employee to move them along the positive path of either becoming a successful employee or, you know, unfortunately there are times where we may have to move them a different direction. So, Excellent. Um, yeah, oh. this is, that, that's really great. Next question is, how is, appra how is the appraisal system different for supervisors, managers, and MPPs. And I know that we have a supervisory block on the form that the students have access to, but especially for managers and MPPs, how, how is the appraisal form a little different? So the appraisal form for the managers and MPPs or administrators is different with um, that group because it's primarily going to be results based. We're really looking at their contributions and how they're um, handling things. We're also doing those primarily electronically. You're not going to see uh, these paper versions. They're all done through an electronic system. But more results based. But definitely yeah. more results based. Absolutely. And then our final question is, Appraisal systems are something that everyone loves to hate doing Absolutely. and experiencing. How well do you think that we are doing here at CSUSB with appraisal and mm -hmm. why? I think that um, based on my prior experience at other institutions, I think that CSUSB does a really good job at the appraisal process, but we can always do better. I think that the evaluation process, if done correctly, is not something that should be perceived as a negative. It's an opportunity for everybody to get better, not only as employees, but as supervisors and managers. I think that the best way for us to move forward and develop staff is by using the evaluation or appraisal system to move people in a positive direction. Excellent. Well, uh, so class, there you have it. We um, have one more excellent speaker in our series of speakers here from the HR department at CSUSB. Um, so on behalf of the virtual students, Stacey, I want to thank you and applaud you. Thank you very and, much. And uh, uh, to the class, we're getting close to the end, so we'll have uh, just a couple more speakers. Thank you very much.